guys live in a world of images wholly mediated by machines and programs whose purpose is to anesthetize us to our actual conditions. And, and, if you were in a matrix simulation, is this the kind of thing that you would click on to pass the time? Why did you click on this, by the way? Did a machine show it to you? Uh, don't mind that. This is real, okay? Me, you can trust. I'm authentically trying to find meaning that's resistant to the feeling that this is all a superficial show, that some indifferent god left on repeat and then walked out of the room. It's about a reality that doesn't feel exactly real. Disregard that. And fair enough, you might say, what does it matter what the world feels like? Reality is independent of my feelings about it. But I think, you know, if reality is real, you're a part of it. You're one of its many aspects. So you reasonably have some access to the sense it makes, or doesn't make. For my part, there's something in the thesis that I have about reality, and it's that it feels thin these days. Don't worry, we're gonna get that fixed. Reality feels thinner, in fact, than we believe it should be, or thinner than it could be. And as this is sometimes a philosophy channel, there are a bunch of words that I can put up here to explain what reality has been thought to be. The thing is though, I don't really like those kinds of explanatory videos so much, and I don't really much care for any of these particularly either. Uh, anyway, what are the symptoms of a thin feeling? The same movie over and over again. Feeling like we're trapped in a loop where every story is the same one over and over and over and over again, where content splits off as an endless repetition of itself, the incommensurability of value, where these are worth one and a half million, three million, twelve million dollars. What's value then? Twenty-two million humans like this advertisement. Yes, twenty-two million people were grateful that they were being advertised to. Well, your choice of leaders for the global empire is either a deranged reality TV host, I'm a very stable genius, or an easily confused septuagenarian. Back in 2009, during the so-called Great Recession, the president asked me to be in charge of your own Excuse me, before you slip, I was the last president. He calls anyway. It's that obvious thinness where brands are people, people are brands, and these days millions of people's social interactions in a day amounts to this. Zero, one, two, four. 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 Zero, one, two, four.